Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to continue reading all about Animal Conflicts Part 2. Food Fight All creatures need to eat, so sometimes they fight over food. Before starting a food fight, each animal must decide if it can get another meal more easily. Is the food worth fighting for? Can it scare the animal? or the other animal away or will it have to overpower the rival hungry vultures jostle for position around a carcass lion versus hyena a big animal like a zebra or wild beast is just a huge feast for a lion or four of lions but hungry hyenas are fierce rivals for the meat so you can read the information about lion and hyena here hyenas chase off a lion that is competing for a share of a kill rivals at breeding time breeding time is very important for all animals males will often show off to females in order to get a mate each male tries to do better than other uh, other males this is when conflicts can happen every autumn deer gather to breed the males cold stags snort and toast their heads to show off their big antlers they clash antlers push and twist it's a test of power and strength eventually the strongest stag wins and gets to mate with the females the clash of antlers is known as rutting Male birds of paradise try to outdo one another by putting off on the best display. Each one shows off its colorful feathers, makes loud squacks, and does a dance. Narwhals are a type of whale. The male narwhal has a long pointed tooth called a tusk. In the mating season, males clash their tusks like they are having a sword fight legs sometimes male animals go to one place to show off to females the place is called a leg male black grouse or grouse collect at their leg strut around fan their tails or tails jump up and down and make loud calls you can read the quiz here and try to answer it's only courtship before animals mate, they need to check to see if their partner is strong and healthy so, the, so that their offspring will also be fit and strong. This process of getting to know their partner is called courtship. Sometimes courtship can look like a conflict as many animals test each other by pushing, scratching, and biting but no harm is done. A female jaguar bites a male jaguar. Courting dolphins slap each other with their tails, prod with their noses, and bump their sides together. A male spider has to be careful during courtship as the female is larger and may decide to eat him. The male rainbow fish darts around the female when courting he flaps his fins and flicks her with his tail. Beetle versus beetle. So this is the information about male stag beetle and female stag beetle. Protective parents. Baby animals are usually small, weak, and unable to move fast or defend themselves. All kinds of hungry predators are ready to make meals of them so being a parent and protecting the young is very important animals are always ready to defend their babies and will even give up their own lives to save their offspring predators know this so they don't always take the risk against a protective parent a kill deer bird protects her eggs by taking a defensive pose. She pops up her body to make herself look as strong as possible. Parent power. 
When killer whales attack a baby gray whale, the mother gray whale tries to keep her enormous body between her baby and the killers. If a kogar or mountain lion tries to eat a baby bear, the mother bear will roar and swipe with her huge paws and claws. If a leopard gets too near a baby elephant, the other elephants in the herd will charge with loud trumpeting sounds. When a hawk attempts to take an owl chick from its nest, the mother owl spreads her wings, pecks with her sharp beak, and scratches with her long talons or claws. Few animals would try to steal a baby alligator from its mother. She protects it and or in her open mouth. Oh, that's cool. You can answer the quiz and, and find out the questions or answer it at the end. Helping others. To avoid a serious conflict, some animals live in groups so they can protect each other. Together, they can watch out for predators and invaders. If one animal spots danger, it can warn the others. A predator is also less likely to risk attacking a whole group of animals. Baboons are big, strong monkeys. They watch, sniff, and listen for trouble such as a leopard or eagle. At the first sign of a threat, they open their mouths to show their long teeth and scream. They come together in a line, ready to attack the attacker. Helping mom and dad. When birds called white-fronted bee eaters are partly grown, they become helpers for their parents. They gather food for the parents, new chicks, and even fight off hawks and snakes who try to eat the chicks. White-fronted bee eaters look after each other in family groups. Too many to attack. Zebras always watch for enemies such as lions, leopards, and hyenas. If one zebra detects danger, it brays and alerts all the others. The whole herd races towards the enemy who is, in the, who is then in great danger of being knocked over and trampled. When zebras run as a herd, their stripes can confuse their enemies, making it difficult for their enemies to see an individual zebra to attack. Losing or los, losing life for others. Losing life for others. In some animal conflicts, members of a group may attack a predator, even though they will almost certainly die. Why do they risk their lives? Usually is because all of the group members are related. So even if they die, they are helping their family to live. If a bear tries to steal honey from a bee's nest, the bees sting it. But as each bee's sting jabs the bear's skin, the sting tears off the rear of the bee's body. The bee soon dies. A close-up of a bee's sting. Soldiers on guard. In a termite nest, the soldiers' termites have much bigger jaws than the worker termites. These soldiers bite any animal. Disturbing the nest, even a giant anteater trying to eat them. Giant anteater versus termite. The giant anteater is thousands of times bigger than the ants and termites it's it. It eats rather, but it suffers so many tiny termite bites that it does not stay for long. Animals at war. Most animal conflicts are between just two creatures or just a few really. Big battles with many animals are rare, but they do happen. The reasons include fighting for more food, a better nest site, a safer place to live or a big territory. Chimpanzees group have fierce battles. If the chief males in one troop think that they are bigger and stronger than their neighbors, then they go to war. 
if their neighbors or neighbors resist, they may be killed and even eaten. Shamans, siamans, are a kind of ape. They live in families. If one family strays into the territory of another family, there may be a conflict. All of the members, even the youngsters, get involved. They call loudly and shake the branches. They even bite and scratch until one family backs off. Millions dead. Army ants or driver ants have no nest. They march through the forest and stop each night in a different place. If two armies meet, they bite, sting, and fight each other. Thousand or even millions fight or might die. Fight to the death. A predator's aim is to catch, kill, and, its, and eat its prey. It does not manage its, this every time it hunts out. However, a tiger catches its prey only about one hunt in ten. So, prey have a good chance of escape. Sperm whale versus giant squid. The world's biggest fight happens in the deep ocean between the world's largest predator, the sperm whale and the giant squid. Wow, that's cool. You can read all about this one. Uh, sperm whale and giant squid. The strength, massive size, powerful jaws, lots of teeth and strong swimmer. Tentacles for giant squid with strong suckers and sharp hooks. Sharp big mouth moves fast. So these are the words that we've been reading. Oh, sorry for that. We have to move back. Glossary. Breeding. When two parent animals mate to make babies. Conflict. A fight, struggle, or disagreement. Crevice or crevice or crevice or crevice. A narrow gap in a rock or building. Dominant. The strongest member of a group. Invader. Someone who comes into where you live and tries to take it over. Offspring. An animal's or person's children. Poisonous. A substance that can cause harm or even death. Predator. An animal that kills other animals, its prey, for food. Ritual. A series of actions often repeated that is used in a ceremony. Rival. Someone that you compete against. Sprain. To endure part of the body by twisting it. Territory. An area of land that an animal or a group of animals lives in. Venom. A poisonous fluid produced by an animal. So, there you go. These are the answers for the quiz section. You can read or try to answer and then check it here. So that's the end of our Animal Conflicts Part 2. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching!